it is starting to look like an Ivy League free-for-all. Top colleges, I'm talking Harvard, Stanford, Princeton, and MIT, are offering free, yes, free, online courses if you can get your hands on a computer. Mario Armstrong, HLN's digital lifestyle expert, joining me now from Baltimore to talk about this. All right, Mario. Uh, this, hey, good morning, th This got our attention, but it sounds a little too good to be true. Uh, <laughs> is it for real? Seriously? It, it is for real. No, this is serious. Uh, look, the bottom line is education in America needs to change. It needs to be more accessible to people that cannot uh, necessarily afford it or get to it. Now, what you get with these universities, there's two different kinds of programs going on. One is called edX, which is a combination of Harvard and MIT. With, and the other combination is really with like several schools, Stanford, University of Pennsylvania, University of Michigan, Princeton, and that's going through a program called, called uh, Coursera. Both of these programs at the end of the day, Randy, don't give you a degree, but they do give you a certificate. And you can't get credit, but you actually can, you know, achieve mastery of a specific skill. So this is a big deal. I talk to a lot of people who are laid off, looking for work, ready to change careers, and this is a way for them to access the education necessary to do so. And so can anyone take these classes? I mean, as long as you have a computer, you can do it? Yeah, that's the key. As long as you can get online, whether that's at home or whether that's at a public library, as long as you can get online, because you can do this at your own pace, on your own time. You kind of learn incrementally. They embed video lectures into this, interactive embedded quizzes into it. It's really um, the best form, to me, interactive learning is really a great form. Not necessarily just online, but interactive learning is great learning, and anyone can take it. So if you have a young student <laughs> that really wants to achieve mastery in building circuits, you could take that MIT class. Wow, and then you get, you get a, uh, a certificate, as you said, not a degree. That's right. But and where hey, do you if go you can with make that? it through the process, if you can make it through the process, it's still not easy. I mean, these are still college level courses. They, they haven't dumbed down the material. So it's still going to be uh, credible or at least some value to be able to have this type of certificate. So I hope that what you'll see is you'll start seeing these things on resumes. You might start seeing these things on people's LinkedIn pages, things like that, where they can kind of prove what their expertise and background and education is. Got it. All right. That's pretty cool. But listen, before I let you go this morning, Yes. Um, your iPad can now help you study like a good college student as well. But it can also, from what I understand, help you drink like yes. one. Uh, I yes, hear you tested this out maybe a few too many times last night. I, 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 <laughs> <laughs> well, here's the deal. I wouldn't recommend this for just any use of this iPad charger. But if you have any extra iPad chargers laying around and you happen to have a good old sombrero <laughs> around the house, for Cinco de Mayo, you might just find people using this to open oh, up a bottle my. of beer. I should know, and it will actually open. There you oh, go. Cheers. So should, should we cheers to you? Should we call it now Cinco de Mario then instead of Cinco de Mayo? Cinco, <laughs> Cinco de Mario textile. <laughs> very, very cool. Love the hat, Mario.